Hello and welcome to a new video. Um, I'm sorry about the content's been a bit light recently, but um, just to go over what happened. So uh, I'm a few weeks ago, ended up with an acute appendicitis. So I had to have that uh, bugger taken out and that put me on the sidelines for a bit. So I'm still not 100%, but um, in the meantime, I've been watching a lot of YouTube and um, GRA Yaris content just behind me just there. And uh, I just want to say a massive shout out to Motive Garage, an Australian YouTube channel. Brilliant guy, really nice guy, and really open with what they found, what works, what doesn't work, which I find really nice and refreshing. So uh, I've been watching a lot of the videos and I saw this video here. In this episode of Motive Garage, presented by Sparesbox, we take our GR Yaris to challenge Bathurst. Mount Panorama is an iconic track. It is Australia's Nürburgring, Spa or Laguna Seca. He referred to Bathurst as uh, the Australian Nürburgring. So we know here on this channel, we've already taken the GR Yaris around the Nürburgring in its standard form. And I think that Andrew lives a bit too far to like ship his Yaris all the way over to Germany just to do a lap in that car. So I thought, why don't we just take a digital Yaris, his digital Yaris, around the Nürburgring and see what kind of performance it would uh, give us back. So let's find out. So here we are in Gran Turismo Sport and as you can see we've replicated the livery of Andrew's GR Yaris from Automotive Garage. So I thought, uh, you know what, let's uh, go through some of the videos, see what's been done to his car, see if we can mimic that on uh, this GR Yaris here and then take it around Nürburgring and see what it did. Now in my hands, um, a good few months ago, with the description of a cat, uh, I managed to do 819.8 uh, around the Nürburgring in the default bog standard car. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our Nürburgring Blast, bring that uh, series back, and we're going to upgrade this with the same kind of uh, upgrades that Andrew has, and let's see if we can go faster and by how much. Let's see what we can find out. So here in Gran Turismo Sport, uh, we have maxed out the power of the GR Yaris. Now we've got 332 horsepower, as you can see on the, just above my head in fact. Uh, now that is uh, the tune that Andrew was running. He was running 250 kilowatts, which is about 335 horsepower, uh, round Bathurst. Now that's what he was running. He has run more than that, 100 kilowatts more, which is 470 horsepower there or thereabouts. Um, we can't do that in Gran Turismo Sport, but let's, let's go up that high. So uh, we're going to stick with what we've got there. We've got the weight down to 1,200 kilos, uh, what, 212. His was 1,210, I believe he said in one of the videos. And that was it completely stripped out. So I know he did put some of the interior back up and it chubbied it back up a little bit. But we're going to go low, low weight. We've gone for sport soft tyres because... They were running some Zestino tyres, so they were maximum grip really, without going to a slick. Ride height. Now, in one of the videos, they fit coilovers. They lowered the rear by 35 and the front by 25. Now, that gives us 100 on the rear total and 105 on the front. Um, so, it does mean the car's going to be sitting down a butt, a butt bit more than the front. Don't know whether that was on purpose. Andrew, if you watch this video, just let me know. Um, we've done the same camber that they did in when they did the alignment three and a half on the front two on the rear negative um, and we've added a bit of toe in on the rear everything else as you can see on the car is completely standard we're going to be using a manual gearbox around here so let's get to Nürburgring and see what we can do Motive Garage GR Yaris versus the Nürburgring let's go all right we're going to need fourth yep all the way back down to second a little bit too deep there. Short shift to third. Use that grunt to pull the car out. Down the hill we go already. A little bit of brake to get the weight over the front wheels. Rear wanted to overtake us. We are already into fifth. Down to third. A little bit deep there again. But we'll keep it going. Third gear through here. Rear end is very lively. Go. Brake hard, focus on the exit here. Wanted to get a bit closer to the curb than we was. But there we go. Right, heading towards the flung plats. Here we go. Taking fifth. Car's still pulling nicely. Try and keep it nice and level up here. 
There we go. On the brakes, get the nose down. Rear end wanted to overtake us again. A bit of a slide, but we're still good. Right, one thing we can't simulate is Andrew has upgraded the brake pads and put a full roll cage in. Something we can't do here. But 240 kph going up to Schrodingkreutz. On the brakes, get the nose in, back on the power, and then get ready for hard braking. Fourth, then third, roll off the brakes. Still a bit of understeer there. Right, power on. Right, down the hill we go, through the foxholes. I think Andrew said he backed out at 240 kph on the Comrod. I think that's probably what we're going to hit through the compression here. There we go, there's 240. On the brakes, down to fifth. Oh, squirrely. <laughs> wow, that was an oh shit moment right there. Too deep into, I think this is Flans Garden. No, I don't think it is. Correct me in the comments. Right, but we're through. Let's see what we can do now. Down the hill, well, this is kind of a level section, isn't it? Right, up to the corner that I hate the most on this track. <laughs> and I've basically drifted it. And down to third, try and stay in the camber on the left, which we failed. Right, downhill braking, brake earlier than you think you need to. Roll off the brakes, keep it tight. There we go. Cast feels nice and punchy, I have to say. Up, up through the curbs, right, miss, hit, miss. There's the first one. We've hit the second one. We seem to hit the third one as well. Right. Hard on the brakes again. Down to third. Whoa, rear's overtaking us. Use second gear. Punch it. There we go. Use all the track. Right, here's the second entrance to the Nürburgring. Hard on the brakes. Downhill again. Tricky little corner. Come off. Come, I, think, I feel like I'm coming off the brakes a bit too aggressively. Inducing too much oversteer. Up the hill. Come on. Pull, pull, pull. There we go. Well done. Right, here we go. This is a uh, louder kink. We're already in fifth, should be flat, just about is. All the way down, this is a long corner, down to third. Didn't get anywhere near the apex there. Quite a poor corner for me, sorry. Right, up the hill we go. Let's see if how this car pulls up the hill. We are in fifth already. Come on car feels a little bit floaty across some of these undulations. Poor car, I don't think we're pulling hard enough to take four or six here. No, right. Bravery corner, here we come. On the brakes, down to fourth. Get that nose in. Come on, nose way. Knee swap ends on us. Right, blind right kink here. There we go. Right, now hard on the brakes. Right, we're going to stay in third and just try and use the torque of third here. There we go, come on. There we go. Towards the carousel. And here comes the roller coaster section. Right, carousel, second or third. I'm going to take it in second. Just try and keep up minimum speed through here. And then gun it on the exit. There we go. Here we go, right. So this section here is going to be tricking this car because it is a bit of a tail happy beast at this point. I'm not going to take fifth because of that grass on the exit there. Left foot brake up into here, hold fourth, third. Oh, yes. And then here we go, right. Down the hill, heading towards Vipperman, up to fourth. Right, we're going to brake as we go into the right-hander. And then use the curb on this left side and all the curb on the right side. There we go. I'm gonna go back down to third. Slide the car through there. We're right between gears here. Kind of between third and fourth. Through Brunchen we go. YouTube corner. That's a limiter in third. There's no point in going up to fourth for that. Oh god, that's a lot of understeer there. Right, we'll take fourth there. Right, back down to third though. Try and focus on the exit. Shoot it. There we go. Abuse the curb on the right side. There we go. Right, up we go. Right, is it going to take off? 
going to back out of it, in fact. Oh, yes, we just made it. Blind left kick, here we come. Oh, up over the kerb there. Would have been dead in real life. Right, Stefan Bell off S. There we go. Car still pulling hard in fifth gear. And we're almost there, lads and ladies. Hard on the brakes. Down to fourth. Yeah, there we go. And then down to third. Try and get that nose in. Baby carousel, here we come. Right, going to guess at a third gear corner. Oh, too much of the steer there. We made it through though. Right, not long to go. On to Dottinger Her, here we come. Try and let's keep it together. Oh, that rear end wants to go as soon as you get off the accelerator and that weight transfers. Right, comes out in fourth. Right, what kind of speed are we going to get down here? So this is a bit longer than the Conrod. There's sixth gear. Still pulling, there's 240 kph. So, Andrew, man, you must have been hauling some serious ass down that straight. The weight, weight of your balls must be holding back the car. Right, there's Bilstein Bridge. I tell you what, this is not going to be flat out for me down here. In fact, I'm going to back off there. Dab a break. Get it up over the kerb. Down to third. Use all that kerb on the right side. Left side. And then second for the final corner. Come on, power. Come on. So we've got 8, 19, 8 to beat in the standard GR Yaris. Oh, what did we do it in? What did we do? 7.55. That is a bet under 8 minutes around the Nürburgring. Wow. Andrew, I think you should bring uh, your GR Yaris all the way from Australia to the Nürburgring. Um, wow. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is a bit of make-believe. Um, if you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. If you didn't, perfectly fine. Give it a thumbs down because that's perfectly fine as well. If you're a complete nutter and you want to see more, Give it a subscribe button, I really appreciate that. Um, hopefully, we're going to have some real life GI Yaris content and some more sim racing coming up soon. Um, so, yeah, until the next time, goodbye.